maybe kind of dark in here. I don't know, it's not too dark. So I can see on the, the screen there, that's exactly how it's going to look on the thing there. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is Steven's first day back, <laughs> so we thought we'd do, I don't know what these are, these are New York strip steaks. Okay, what is that you're putting on there? A little bit of garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. And then powder. Or garlic powder. Yeah. And black pepper. Black pepper. And the steak seasoning. Sea salt. And then we get some uh, pepper. <laughs> and lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. And then we just take the steaks and we flip them over. Put the pepper and stuff on the inside because the marination won't get in there as good so the seasonings centered and we just put these ah oh, you the stick them in a bag I got gotcha. you Because that way you don't have to much flip them over with much of anything. Then you just take the. This is a robusto Italian. Robusto Italian. Robusto Italian. We'll say it three times. <laughs> that way, um, you use the bag. You just flip over the bag. You don't have to use thongs or anything. And then it uh, it. Um, <clears throat> And it conforms to the <clears throat> space of the Was it about half a bottle to use or to use the whole bottle? About a half. If you uh, um, use a bag like this, you actually end up using less because uh, it conforms to the shape of the steaks. Yeah, because a lot of people would like to, they probably like use like a pan, but this uh, is just as good. Well, it's actually better because no, it uses better. less, less um, stuff to see. You just flip it over and uh, oh, I gotcha. you can tuck it in and it kind of just conforms to the shape of the steaks, you know. And we'll just put that in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And then the refrigerator it goes. Mm -hmm. 